Hello guys and welcome to this video. Today our subject is quite fascinating. In fact, we will create our first Git repository. This is a thing to share code between different developers. So what's our plan? We'll create something that is called a bear repository. We'll talk a little bit about what is exactly a bear and what is the difference between bear and non-bear repository in this video. We will clone repository into one of our developers workspace. And finally, we will explore the .git folder. That's the folder that Git creates in the workspace to store its service files. So we'll just sneak peek into it to know what's exactly stored there. So now, meet our development team. Since Git is a collaboration tool, I decided straight away to introduce two developers into our team. So to the left will be the workspace of Bobby and to the right will be the workspace of Jenny. So Bobby and Jenny, they are developers using Git they are about to create their next great project with this tool. So in today's video, we'll work mostly with just Bobby's setup. So he will start and he will initiate the project. And then once the basic setup for project is done, Jenny will join the team in the one of upcoming videos. So what is the first thing that Bobby needs to do if he wants to start a project in Git? Well, the first thing, let's create a nice folder uh, to hold the repositories, just the place for all repositories for different projects on your computer. So I'll go and I'll do sudo create directory called, let's call it repos, right in the root of my, uh, my file system. Oops, wrong password. Ah, much better now. Let's change the rights for this repository so that everybody can read and write into it. Uh, everybody plus read plus write to repos. Awesome. Now I can go to this directory. And in this directory, I can execute my first git command. So what I will do, I will call git command called git in it I will pass the flag called bear and I need to tell what will be the repository name that I'm about to init here so the repository name since our course is called git bootcamp I saw that the good name for repository will be camp.git so what will git now do he will initialize an empty repository in repos git and uh, this is in fact it's not a file it is a folder it is a folder where git stores all its information uh, for sharing between Bobby and Jenny and every any other uh, team member that might join the team so uh, by the convention the directory that holds the bare repository ends up with dot git just like a file but in fact it is a directory Okay, so this repository is called a bear repository. Why is it called bear? Well, this is a repository that sole purpose of this repository is file sharing. No working is done in this directory. So to work, to start working in this project and start adding files to the repository, what Bobby needs to do, he needs to go into his home folder and create his own local copy of the repository by cloning it. So now let's do that. So Bobby, now he created an empty repository. Now he's ready to do something with it. So I'll go to my home folder and to a folder called dev. Here I'll create a workspace for our two developers. Uh, one will be, so let's call the workspace git camp. And inside of this folder, I'll create a folder, one for Bob and one for Jen. So Jenny will be in Jen folder, Bobby will be in Bob folder. The fact that these two developers are in fact just virtual personas that live uh, in the same hard drive and using the same computer to access the Git repository, it doesn't really change much from a Git's perspective. So uh, from Git's perspective, it doesn't really matter if these two are sitting in the same room or even on the same computer or they are working in the different parts of the world through the oceans git will treat them absolutely the same way so let's move jenny to his fo her folder so that will be dev and git camp git camp and jen that's her folder it's empty now 
So now we start, we go back to Bobby. He goes to his folder. And from here, what he needs to do, he needs to clone the repository to start working with it. So to do that, I will need this address. This is the file system pass. And I will issue the command that is called git clone. I will pass the path to the repository. And I will, as the second argument, I'll uh, tell where exactly to put this repository. And I'll just want, I, I don't want to create any extra folders here. I just want to put everything into a Bob folder. So let's issue this command. And Git says, warning, you appear to have cloned an empty repository. Well, Git, thank you very much for warning me. But that's kind of what I wanted to do. Because just before that, I created empty repository. And now I cloned an empty repository. But the difference between this repository and the repository inside of a Bob folder is that the first one is a bare repository that cannot be used to work. It's only used for sharing, just remember it. In a little bit later videos in this course, you will see the exact reason why this dis distinction exists, right? Why do you use bare repository for uh, sharing and working repositories for working? There is a very, very s good and solid reason for that. But for now, just remember that uh, there is two different kinds of repos in Git. So now I am in empty repository and if you list the files in this folder, you'll see there is one, just one thing that appeared in empty folder, dot git. Let's just go and open this folder to see what is there. So if you look into this folder, you'll see several files, right? Here is the only place that Git uses to store the project-related information, which is very cool because Git does not uh, throw in different kind of service files that you can accidentally delete uh, throughout the uh, hierarchy of your folders. It's just one small neat folder called .git and this is a place where it will store everything. The configuration, the uh, stored history of the project, uh, everything that you need to work with git repository is stored inside of this folder. So once we start working with the project, once we start adding more files, this directory will get a little bit bigger, right? But the good thing about it, it's the only place for Git configuration, right? So let's quickly review what we achieved in this video and uh, what we did and how was it done, in fact. So we created a bare repository. We cloned repository into Bob Bobby's developer's workspace and we picked into a Git folder. I think for this video, it is done. So let's quickly recap what are the commands that we issued to make this happen, right? So first we created a folder repos in the root of hierarchy. Then inside of that folder, we called a command git init dash dash bare camp git. So that's how we created our empty bare repository. Finally, to work with it, to start working with the project, we created the working copy. So we first created a separate folder for Bobby and Jenny. And inside of Bobby's folder, we issued command git clone and passed the repository uh, address, the rep repository pass to that command. And git cloned that one and created a working copy in Bobby's folder. Now Bobby is pretty much set to start working with this repository. So in the next video, we'll see how to configure this repository and start to do our first commits. See you then.